Breaking in Lansing tonight, two major bills coming out of the legislature. One deals with reducing the tax on public pensions. The other bumps up the earned income tax credit. In all, it's about a billion dollars out of the state and back to you. Mara McDonald live at the State Building tonight with more on this story. Mara. Kimberly, earlier today, the Michigan Senate passed its version of these bills. Late tonight, the Michigan House passed its versions. Let me show you. One of the key pushes in last night's State of the State address was targeted tax cuts. Now, two bills rolled out of the Michigan Senate today. Number one, bumping up the earned income tax credit to 30 percent. That's for low to moderate income workers. It's expected to help about 700,000 families in this state. It passed with bipartisan support in both chambers. Only eight Republican reps said no in the state house. We've gotten a lot done in just the last week uh, and we're not going to stop. We've already moved faster uh, by passing some bills this week than any Senate uh, that we can that we can count. The cost of living is such a big issue in our state and in our region. I hear it every day and so the EITC credit, the seniors, um, you know, I'd like to see it get phased in more. I think people need relief now and not four years from now. But overall, I can support that and I will support it. Number two, repealing the tax on public employee pensions, as well as boosting the exemption for other forms of retirement benefits. That passed with fewer Republicans on board because GOP members in both chambers don't think it does enough for all retirees. Back here live, let's see what version of these bills the other chamber is willing to pass, but both have made it through, well, the House has its version, Senate has its version. Bottom line, they both repeal policies brought on by the Snyder administration. We're live in Midtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Yep, okay, Mara, thanks.